that's right on top. It's tricky. Oh, it's tricky. This one's tricky. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the manliest show on the internet. My name is Rise Up, with my boyish co-host Dignan. <laughs> Binky. Today we're running back a classic. This is Guess the Popular Rap Song from the Sample. We haven't seen the many other episodes of this one. This is how it's gonna work. DJ Grant's gonna place a song or sound that has been sampled in a popular rap song. We're gonna guess what popular rap song that is. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Dignan versus you. Quinn in Middleton, Wisconsin. You put the mid in Middleton, Quinn. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website. It's on the screen. It's linked in the description along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button right here on YouTube, become a member. I love the members. And last thing before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by CMA. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later in the video. Thank you CMA for sponsoring. Thanks. DJ Grant, let's hear that first sample. I can't remember the song. Really? I mean, I know the artist. Ooh, I definitely know. Can you tell me? Boom, boom. No, we're playing against each other and against Quinn from Middleton, Wisconsin. I don't care. Uh, what is it? Every time you come on this channel, you devalue the competitive aspect of things. I'm in the middle of trying out for four NBA teams. How am I supposed to take this yellow roomed buffoonery seriously? I'm an elite athlete. You're not. Yes, I am. You broke your arm not even a year ago. That wasn't me. You and Graydon both broke your arms. He broke my arm. And you broke his. Yeah, because we punched each other at the same time. Either way. On each other's abs, mind you. That's how rock hard we were. We were on a nice little tip, working out all the time together. That is besides the point. How are you trying out for NBA teams? Watch this. This is my first move. I mean, that's so fast. That's an elite <laughs> first step. I'll admit, it, it kind of confused me. Exactly. I didn't know which way you were going to go. Thank you. I will say that. You're down, locked in, guarding me, and I go... I'm gone. I go wherever I want on the court. Exactly. We shouldn't have started with this song. Why? Because I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Whisper it to me. No. <laughs> Grant, give me a sign. Do something. I'm going to look stupid. That's the whole point. It's I'm a Kanye West song. <laughs> There, I said it. Yeah, that's fine, but you have Big to know deal. which You have to know which one. <laughs> Big deal, it's a Kanye West song. Okay, yes. What am I supposed to know, every song in his discography? <laughs> you do. That's insane! <laughs> that's the whole point of the game. I hate playing games, man. Why do you want to be on this channel so I don't want to be on it, you threatened me. With clout. With clout? You threatened me, you said, I'm not gonna cancel you, buddy, but I will postpone you. And that's <laughs> arguably worse, because if you get canceled, you get all your money back. If you get postponed, it usually ends up on a date, you can't do it. No, oh my God. I said, I'm not gonna cancel you, but I'm gonna post that time that I pwned you. You're in COD. Three, two, one. On site. I'm wrong, bound two. It's New Slaves by Kanye West. Oh, it's New Slaves, we were both wrong. Same album, oh yeah, yeah, totally. It's the switch up, I mixed it up with the switch up and on site. It's just like, it was, uh, whatever. I, I don't have to justify myself. I guessed what I guessed, cause that's what my mind told me to guess. Yeah, that, that nobody asked you to justify it. This isn't a court. <laughs> this is a yellow room with another guy in it that they can't see. <laughs> yeah, it's the show. Yeah, you might not realize this at home, there's a whole nother man in this room. They definitely. I definitely know that. They hear him laughing, they know who he is, DJ Grant, they all follow him on Instagram and all You that. might not be able to hear him or know he's in here, but there's another man in here. <laughs> they know oh, that. There's a whole ass another man in here, bro. <laughs> both of our favorite albums of all time. Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing for us, but whatever. That ain't embarrassing for me, brother. You were just pretty clearly embarrassed, but <laughs> I got my pants pulled down in public once. That, it doesn't even come close to embarrassing me. You pulled them down? That's when you got the public indecency charge, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. You know how embarrassing that is? Well, yeah, it was embarrassing, but I, you said someone pulled me, that you pulled them down. No, I said I got my pants pulled down in public. Yeah, you got them pulled down by yourself. Right. <laughs> thought it would be great. I thought people would go, yes! <laughs> Yeah, you pulled down your pants, yep. and then you peed on a family of ducklings crossing the street. Oh, little pee? Well, yeah, because you had a UTI, but the whole point of it was super sadistic. It's fucked up. You just don't get prop comedy. That's not prop. You know how long I raised those duckling eggs? That's animal. Wait, what? This is <laughs> yeah. That's I have animal cruelty. It's not prop animal comedy. Animal cruelty. You know how much piss falls on ducks in the wild? Yeah, but- That's not cruel. It's natural. It happens all the time. <laughs> What's cruel is the cities we built on top of the great forests of this nation. <laughs> That's animal cruelty and the government should be prosecuted. And you're helping by peeing on ducks? Just putting them back in their natural vibe, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Frank, can we hear the next sample, please? Follow me and do exactly what you see. Don't you wanna grow up to be just like me? 
Role Model by Eminem. See, this is another one. I know the song, but I don't know the name. Yeah. I mean, this one makes sense for you to be able to tell me. <laughs> it's so new. I know the one. Yeah, just write all the stuff you know about it. Okay. <laughs> You are really against the structure of everything we do every time on this channel. You just don't get it, man. I'm a natural provocateur. I'm a merry prankster. I'm a little whoopsie doopsie. That's what I'm called in the mythology, the mythos, the ethos of mankind. I'm an archetype. I agree. You're a wild card. You're yeah. a court jester. Mary Prankster. Isn't Mary Prankster? That was your ex, right? Yeah. She was cool, man. I don't know why you let her go. Super hot. Yeah. I let her go because she got cataracts. That's the eye thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you were always flashing lights at her, yep. though. That's probably why she got cataracts. Probably. You'd always strobe her awake. That's what you mm -hmm. said was like your little prank. You would deer in a her. headlight, deer in a headlight, deer in a headlight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I still don't think that's nice of you, but you've done that. Well, cataracts are disgusting. She started to look like an old dog. Right, totally, yeah. Ghost eyes. Mm -hmm. Filmy. Like a pirate. And I don't like pirates that much. I don't like pirates that much either. I did like that movie, though. <sighs> and I like Roberto Clemente. Oh, yeah, Roberto Clemente. Class act. Awesome guy. Broke the barrier for Latino players in the MLB. Absolutely. Shout out to Roberto Clemente. Am I allowed to do that? I I, I don't care what you do. Cool. You're like a fictional character, so <laughs> you can kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Juice World and Corday. Doomsday. I put AI Juice World featuring Corday. <laughs> it's Doomsday! Ooh, I get it too, right? Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> Just a reminder that he is a fictional character, so he could say stuff like that. Well, he was AI, didn't it? <laughs> he was deep faked into the video. Deep fake AI, computer generated CGI, who's that guy? It's like, come on. <laughs> the stash reef in the lab freezing. I found a reef of Corday stash in the back of the lab, so I'm in class smoking gas. November 26th, that's gonna be Doomsday. Part two, coming out. Denis Villeneuve. Timothy Chalamet. Zendaya. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's gonna her be... last name. She doesn't have one. She's like Madonna and Cher. That's and... horse shit. She's Jack. got a last name. <laughs> That is horse shit. She has a fucking last name. What's on her ID? Maybe it's from Euphoria. Maybe that's her last name. Bitch, she did stuff before then. She was on the damn Disney Channel. I mean, yeah, sure. But I think that's why they named the show that. Bitch. Stop calling me a bitch. What? <laughs> it's weird. Like, Well, I don't know. You're trying to do it in like a quippy way or something. It's kind of weird, though. I don't know, man. It's forced. I'm trying to expand my vocabulary, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Grant, can you play the next one, please? Hey. Did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. Lifestyle by Rich Gang. That was my uh, senior quote. What was? I did a lot of shit just to live this here a lifestyle. That was your senior quote? Yeah. When were you a senior? You're like 43. I've had a couple cracks at it. Oh, you never. <laughs> Do you get a senior quote if you don't graduate? Every time. It's <laughs> kind of low key. It keeps me kind of failing. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're like, oh, I can get another senior quote next year at least. Yeah. You know, my senior year, and this is a real story because obviously you know whatever we all wrote senior quotes and the yearbook just forgot them and there are probably some problematic ones that's true Ru some bad apples will ruin a whole batch for the village my friend nick his senior quote was it's been a long strange trip in riley's basement which is a reference to that 70s show which is an interpolation of the grateful dead really what a long strange trip it's been i don't know i don't know the grateful dead's music it's like one of the most famous quotes of all time uh, it might even be like a ginsburg or like ken kesey or like ralph waldo emerson probably not he was a little earlier for sure sorry well just we, i mean you're mixing up 19th and 20th century it's like come on dude get it together ralph waldo emerson followed the dead around <laughs> speaking of merry pranksters those fuckers did a lot lot of acid. Well, yeah, that's not really a prank. That's like <laughs> kind of <laughs> a prank on your mind. Hey, look at yeah. what you're seeing now. You yeah. know. <laughs> the trees are fireworks. <laughs> Three, two, one. 180 by Morgan Wallen. I put lifestyle by Morgan Wallen. This is 180 lifestyle by Morgan Wallen. Yeah. Wow. This is wild. I think it's awesome. When I heard it, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, really? He's yeah. doing this? Did not see that coming, him being the biggest artist in the world or whatever. She don't come from it, but now she ain't running from it. Yeah, she living the lifestyle. Yeah, it's something, you know? Oh, you are really grooving to it. You are really grooving. Ooh, I miss the kid G. Remember him? He's like country little peep. Little Uzi. 
Yeah, you did a song with Uzi. Well, bam. Riley, speaking of the intersection of other genres of music with country music, let's tell them a little bit about CMA's new content. Let's do it. The CMA's YouTube channel is the perfect place if you love country music and learning about what goes on behind the scenes in the country music industry, especially in their latest series, Music to My Ears. This series is awesome. You can watch singers, songwriters, and producers break down lyrics to iconic country songs and reflect on country music throughout the decades. What I love about this series is watching successful modern songwriters discuss the impact specific songs had on their craft. And it's not just country songs either. That's really what I think our fans will appreciate. In several of these episodes, they explore the intersection of country and other genres. In one episode, award-winning songwriter Tom Douglas, who's written hit songs for Pink, Sheryl Crow, Lady A, Kenny Chesney, and more, talks about the impact that Carol King and the Beatles had on him as a songwriter. You guys really should go check it out. It's always interesting seeing genres collide throughout time and gives you an added appreciation for the songs you love. It'll definitely introduce you to some new music as well. There's other great content on CMA's YouTube channel too, like In Their Boot which follows along and profiles many of the talented people behind the scenes of the genre. Kind of the DJ Grants of country, if you will. It explores what it's like making a living in and around country music. Go check out the link in our description for the full episode of Music to My Ears and subscribe to CMA for more behind the scenes action in country music. Thanks again, CMA, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Well, that was good time, wasn't it? Right now, kindly hit us with that next sample. What are you doing that? What's the thumbs down for? I hate that flashy 80s disco club bullshit. No, you don't. That's what I don't. I don't like, I'm not super fond of that. And you love it. I'm into shoegaze, emo, singer songwriter stuff, freaky stuff, and like uh, industrial pop. That shit ain't even music to me. What? What is that? I don't, don't even try and tell me it's music. You just sound like, like an ad for cocaine. Are you just doing like, you're like trying to steal my personality or something? What? You just named it. Like, my dad sells baseball cards. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Rooms dogs. Uh, I got a dog called Hank. You don't, I do. I drive a Hyundai venue. It's kind of doxing me a little bit. License plate BQR <laughs> oh, 7791. Whoa, 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 no. You can't just say my. My license plate number. Bumper sticker, the Iraq war was bad. <laughs> I, mean, I agree with that one. Yeah, I don't have any bumper stickers though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm championing you. You're championing me? Yeah, because you're my pal. I'm trying to champion you. Stealing somebody's whole personality is not the same thing as championing them. I'm trying to champion you. It means that you think you're a champion, so if you absorb my personality, you're like putting me through the vessel of a champion? Sure. You're not a champion. You haven't even made any of those four teams yet. You think the you. Orlando Magic are going to have the cap space for you? I don't think so, buddy. They don't have to pay me. <laughs> I just want to live in Orlando. <laughs> on the count of six. No, just do on the, three. Okay, on the count of three. Three, two, one. Poker Face, Lady Gaga. Poker Face. It is Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Wow. We no. do not talk about Gaga on this channel enough. That's true, actually. I listened to, uh, what's the one song? Alejandro. Woo! I listened to that this yeah. morning. Oh, I forgot about that song. Alejandro. <laughs> she is, uh, man, what a talent. When she, like, first came out, that, like, shook the world. Like, no pop had ever sounded like that. <gasps> That's how people did it. Yeah, they, they were, were like, freaking Whoa! out. <laughs> The yeah. white women on Good Morning America was like, she's a monster. And then she said, I am a monster. And everybody was like, ah. And then she wore a meat suit. Oh, uh, meat suit. I had a meat cute with Lady Gaga. She was in a meat suit. And now I'm drinking meat soup. <laughs> nice. On a candy roller coaster, I'm on a treat loop. <laughs> It's another thing you used to do to marry prankster. You poke her face. Yep. A lot. Now, see, I don't, it's very rude. It's very so you rude. got a good poker face. She'd say, what? And then I'd poke her with a stick from the fire. Eventually I had to tone it back because she's got scarred up. Not so good to look at no more. So I just started using my finger. You ever think that every time something beautiful enters your life, you destroy it? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I've never thought that, but I guess I'm not really left with anything beautiful besides my lovely wife. You have a wife right now? I'm married to Mia Hamm. The soccer player? Former. She's retired. It's not her whole personality. <laughs> you know, she has multitudes. She likes to paint. She likes skipping rocks and some freaky shit. <laughs> You're married to Mia Hamm. Correct. At the moment. I can't count on That's it, not man. a good way. I've been like... in and out of a lot of marriages. If she double crosses me, I'll divorce the bitch. <laughs> She's a soccer player. She's going to double cross you. Joke's on her. I like getting my nuts megged. All right, Grant, let's get to the next one. <laughs> I like 
like to imagine that's what they were listening to in the submersible. I was gonna say it kind of gave me Titanic vibes. The <laughs> submersible Titan. Yeah. On the Titanic, the song was "My Heart Will Go On." On the submersible, they're all heartless billionaires. <laughs> I wish the submersible was like really in the spirit of exploration, though. You don't think it is? I mean, it's just going to see one thing. If I'm gonna go to those depths of the ocean, I want to see something that's never been seen before. I don't want to see yeah. some sloppy seconds of James Cameron eye fucking an old ship. I want to go on a submersible just to see an angler fish. Sure, something crazy, something deep. Take me to the Mariana Trench. An LED like, like, squid. I want to shake hands with that weird little light bulb they got hanging there. Yeah, I want to swing it around like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shake it. Shake it, man. Turn that angler fish to an anger fish. You know what I mean? You can't be, can't be happy if I'm doing that. Three, two, one. Attention by Doja Cat. Never change. Rich the kid. This is Jones Bro by Young Thug. Jones oh, Bro. Oh, really? I really thought I heard the melody of the attention beat for some reason. Coming out of Jones, Burrow South. Hey, nigga, heaven goes. I think the Thug album is hard. I like it a lot. I know it's a lot of old music, but I still love it. They gotta let that guy out. Yeah, free thug. DJ Grant, this was the next one. 16 when we first laid eyes. Smarty little fucker, yeah, I was that guy. Awkward. Tyler. I used to bump that shit way back, way back, way back in the day. Oh! <laughs> Sidebar, classiest strip club of all time. Only plays classical music. They actually have like a pit, you know what I mean? Like there's a symphony. Oh, an orchestra pit. An orchestra pit in the strip club. Oh, I actually really like that idea. They come out like in gowns and there's... Now hear me out. Heard. Slight change. Okay. I think keep it exactly like a normal strip. Like they wear the same things. Right. Atmosphere is kind of the same. They have a buffet and everything. Sure. The music is just like that. It's yeah. like the most elegant music you've ever heard. Cool. I think that contrast could be very powerful. And you know what? Fuck it. The orchestra can be naked too. Well, they're not naked to start. They should kind of <laughs> like tease it a little bit. Yeah. There should be a like the a, maestro a build. Takes you know? the clothes off. Yeah. He's like kind of like telling them when like, ooh, and then. Yep. No, you can't do that in there. You just licked and flicked the bean, bro. You can't do that in a strip club. <laughs> I know. You have not been in a strip club, have You're you? You're right, I haven't, no. Yeah, you cannot do that. Okay, fine, here we go. That's fine, you're eating ribs. So, no, it's a lemon pepper wing. Okay, that's obviously. fine too. Nope. <laughs> no, that's not how you eat wings. <laughs> oh, no. Totally not. <laughs> no. Hey, no, I don't know. I don't think you can do any of that in there. I don't think your mom would be proud of that bit either. My mom's not proud of me in general. That's kind of sad. My mom wanted me to go corporate. She wanted me to go exec, but I still turned to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Pretty cool. Uh, rhymed, I guess. My brother's name is Tigna Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. Your brother's name's Keegan. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Which your parents gotta regret that a little bit, right? Why? Probably seemed like a good idea at the time. Your name is Dignan. Awesome name. Keegan Dignan. Like there's not that much of a difference. I guess you're right. Sometimes it's hard to look at yourself and admit that you too are strange. I think honestly their last couple albums have just been boring. Fuck you, Bono. <laughs> Three, two, one. Awkward freestyle by Eam Triplin. Uh Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. This is Awkward Freestyle by Eam Triplin. Yeah. Shout out Eam, man. I love Eam's music. Me too. That's kind of how he blew up, was he did a flip of Awkward. And he got co-signed by, by the guy. And then Tyler liked it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that shit now. We just saw Eam live. Twice. A couple times, yeah. He should have been on Double XL. Ah! What was that? That's what I, like, ah! Oh, frustrated or were you like, eh? Yeah, like, ah! <laughs> He's got such a cool sound, just like no one else sounds like Eam. No, he reminds me of Pierre. Oh, Not yeah. Not like sonically necessarily, but just like in their own lane entirely and the producer to artist pipeline that yeah. they both followed. And that's the last serious music opinion I'm going to give all day. <laughs> I am done. That's my quota. I did one. He told me at least say one thing serious. And that's it. Thanks, man. Is that a Fortnite dance? No, they were doing that dance long before Fortnite. Well, yeah, but then they all became Fortnite dances. Like, that's, yeah, that's a problematic one, I think. Oh, submersible dance. <laughs> Travis Scott on uh, the new on Pink Tape said, uh, hit her so hard she gritty or something like that. He said something <laughs> insane, really bad. Like, one of the worst lyrics I've ever heard. Like, hit her, make her do the gritty. I think is what he says. I hit her so hard she turned into gritty. The Flyers mascot. <laughs> the Flyers mascot? Her eyes go all crazy, turns into a big orange monster. And by hitter, you mean have sex with her, right? Because 
Otherwise, yeah, no, I'm not uh, abusive. Oh, no, I know. Or violent. You are violent. Not really, not no more. Ever since I quit smoking weed, I don't really hit. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Quitting weed made you less violent? It's correlated with a few other things that could be the causation of the lack of violence, but. And what would that be? I don't know. I've I've started masturbating a lot more. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, whatever. It's too much information. No, I just. Yeah. Like it used to be like an average amount. It doesn't feel like you now should be like, talking about this. Oh, really? No, I don't know. It just feels like from a workplace standpoint. Oh, I didn't realize this wasn't a safe place to talk about sex. That's my bad. I wasn't trying to like... I my mean, sex life with myself seems like a perfectly fine thing to talk about. Yeah, self-love, I guess, is important. Yeah, but like, I'm self-loving myself 30 to 33 times a day. <laughs> I stop at 33 because that's a lucky number. And if this isn't a good place to talk about it, you know what? I don't want to make you or that guy behind the camera uncomfortable. Yeah. A lot of people didn't even know there was a guy there, but no, I know he doesn't seem uncomfortable. He was laughing a lot, but <laughs> me, whatever, you know, you I get it, man. Whatever you want, I get it. That is a <laughs> lot, a lot, like more than I've ever heard. But I'm not hitting. Right. I guess you win some, you lose some, you know? You're yeah. losing a lot of cum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. yeah, you're losing yeah. a lot. That's like the opposite of semen retention. It's kind of demon juice, though, in my mind. The more that stays in you, the crazier you get. So. Yeah. <laughs> what was that laugh? <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> Grant, let's get that next. Oh, it's tricky. Oh, it's tricky. This one's tricky. Just like me. What is that? It's got to be a Coyla Ray song, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of what she's up to. She's flipping those OG rap songs for a contemporary bad bitch aesthetic. Yeah, I love it. Me too. It's magical. She packs a big punch for such a little lady. You know that she <laughs> surpassed Ice Spice and monthly listeners and is now the second biggest female rapper in the world in terms of monthly listeners. Makes sense. I saw it coming. We actually did a choreography to that when I was in competitive cheer. To that, the original song, not the new one? Right. How'd it go? It's pretty sick. No, I mean, how did it, like, what were the moves? Oh, I was like the base of a big pyramid. Oh, so you didn't have much of a move other than... I did a little... How did you do that as the base of a pyramid? Well, like, that was like as I came out on the floor. Oh, okay, yeah. And then and you then, got down and just kind of hunkered down and yeah. hoped to God that you could withstand all that weight and pressure. Wasn't much for a guy like me. I got a strong core. They call you Core Larray. No, they don't. Yeah, right, they don't. They, they call sure? me the Iron Gut. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's the amount of booze I can handle and how strong my abs are. You also consume a lot of iron. It's good for you. No, I don't mean iron like in food. I mean like you like physically you eat iron. What's the difference? It's different. There's like a lot of iron in like, you know, salmon or something. Love salmon. Yeah, but then like you eat iron like mm-hmm. the metal. Days I don't have salmon, sure. Isn't that ironic? Uh, mm. What the heck? <sighs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know what else I eat a lot of? What? Baby possums. They're very high in magnesium and vitamin R. <laughs> Any baby marsupial will do, but sadly, that's the only ones I can get my hands on here in the States. Yeah, in North America, it's the only one. They do raise kangaroos for meat in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really like farmed animals. I like to catch them in their wild state. It's more humane that way. It keeps me connected to the food chain. If I can go into a possum nest and steal the babies, it makes me feel better about the circle of life. I know you like to stay connected to the food chain, but chains are not food. And you, again, you keep just eating metal. I snatched Rich the kid's chain in a club one time and I tried to eat it. Really? Mm-hmm. How'd that go? He beat the living shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. You shouldn't try to steal people's stuff. Let alone eat it. Three, two, one. Put Bops by Coyle Ray. Put Barbie by Ice Spice. This is Rock Paper Strippers by Tizo Touchdown. Of course. Oh, yeah. Rock Paper Strippers. Oh, I knew I had heard it. I just yeah. couldn't place where. That song's ridiculous. It felt like a fever dream when I heard it anyway. Yeah. Ice Spice should drop a song called Oppenheimer. Ice Spice? Oh, because she dropped Barbie. Right. Might as well hit both audience. Oh, definitely, yeah. She could refer to her ass as the nuclear bomb. She could also refer to her ops as Oppenheimers. Great call, buddy. I think that would be super sick. Fly her out to Florida. With much respect, I paid the check because she's somebody's daughter. That guy's crazy. He's awesome. (laughs) He is crazy. super awesome. All right, next sample, please, Grant. Huh. What's that? Loving the crew. Definitely not that one. Loving the crew. What's the original? I Wonder You by 
prints. Oh, it's a print sample. Good luck. Good luck what? Sample and prints. So you said to me recently that you've been reading the Bible a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at your house last night, and there was a Bible sitting on your dining room table on the coffee table. King James, yeah. So I thought, because mm -hmm. I opened up that book, and inside you had torn out all of the pages of the Bible and super glued in an Xbox 360 cheat code book. <laughs> yeah. Is that your only, like, that's the Bible you I still have the pages of the Bible. That is a little prank I set outside for my guests. It's funny. I mean, it is funny, but I just... Yeah. Just, okay, I was just. I keep the pages loose leaf. Loose leaf, but it's so many pages. They're everywhere. <laughs> they are everywhere. I assume they would be. That's a lot of pages to have individually. But it's good. I put them in all my suitcases, all my bags, and then it's like no matter what I leave the house with that day, I got a little piece of God's scripture. What, I, dude? I'm honestly, I'm kind of over it. Kind of over what? Being religious. Oh yeah, no, it sucks. Oh um, my. God. It's a lot of work and like the payoff is like after you die? Like, I don't know. I'm done with the God shit. That's fine. Yeah, I, you're, you're cool with that? I think you should You don't be. think I'm a hypocrite? No, I think you should be done with the God shit. I'm done with it, man. Yeah, you should say bye to that bullshit. Bye bullshit. Just wave goodbye. Bible shit. They should make a book for each page is like an LED panel and it plays a LeBron James highlight and it's called the King James Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Put West Side Boogie Ite. I put Spanish Joint by D'Angelo. This is Africa by D'Angelo. Oh, mm. the snaps. I recognize the snaps. D'Angelo sampled prints, huh? I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense, but I guess, I don't know. I just think of everything as like so organic from D'Angelo. Yeah, like, that's true. D'Angelo makes everything. That's you know? true. I could see him taking like snaps or like a little beat and then laying something down over it as a, one of these. An homage. Man, I can't believe that guy smoked so much crack. I mean, that's just impressive. I mean, he can be like groovy and sexy. Like you'd think someone that's smoking a ton of crack would be like, Wah! like the music would be like Gigi Allen or something. Yeah. It could go any way you want. Totally. Crack is the true performance enhancer. Whatever you're good at, it's only going to make you better. I don't think that's necessarily true or a good message to send out. Basketball. Phew. Quicker crossover. <laughs> reading, it makes you way better at reading. You read faster. Yeah, I just think there's better ways to do that. Deer antler spray, something like that? No, just like run. Like if you run, your mind will be like sharp. I guess it could make you faster at running too. Crack? Oh no, 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 no. Don't do crack. Don't do it. Yeah, what? yeah, that's what you should say. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Super bad for you. It rips apart your lungs. Don't put it down. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. Put it down. Finish the video. And then don't do it. Still don't still, do it. Yeah, yeah, still don't still do it. Don't do it. Okay. Persist. Persist. Yeah. Persevere. Patience. Good. That's another virtue. Um, parabola. <laughs> <laughs> parabola is a shape. Okay. Wow. That's so cool, man. Now I can go back home and tell all my D'Angelo friends about that sample. Your D'Angelo friends? I have a D'Angelo club I am a part of, yeah. Oh, that's cool. A lot of soulful, kind of snooty white guys. Oh, yeah. They like tuck their shirts in and they have a, like an air of superiority. They're like, oh, yeah, no, you're into that news. Yeah, yeah, the D'Angelo's the best of all time. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, oh, you you actually like Miguel. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, Chris Brown too. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, no. No, I'm more into voodoo and the unreleased records. Black Messiah, legendary record. I mean, yeah. yeah, Questlove. Questlove played drums for him, yeah. Yeah. And Pino Palladino. <laughs> Pini Palladini. <laughs> you know, he also played bass on Continuum by John Mayer. Yeah, he was an original member of the John Mayer trio. Yeah, and then his son, Rocco Palladini. Yeah, but, well, <laughs> yeah, he plays with Yosef Days. Absolutely. But, Good uh, musician. You wouldn't man. know. You guys yeah. wouldn't know about that, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just turn back on Usher or whatever you're going to listen yeah, to. Sure. You're a casual. Stop. Grant. Okay. Let's hear the next sample. Back on the mat, what's up? That's what Hennin is. And you knew I keep for Seventeen thousand same color t-shirt. This is an interpolation. Oh yeah, I can, I know the song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? Why'd they put the juice in a box to begin with? Oh, I don't know. I feel like it could be a packaging thing. Maybe it's like uh, cheaper. It's probably cheaper to put do. it in cardboard. Yeah, it's like a cardboard box. By that logic, why didn't they ever just like dump it from the ceiling or something? What? Just gotta fly it over, bomb the town with juice. <laughs> there's like a time of day you have to send your kids outside. Because people like to choose when they wanna have juice. Yeah, but it's gotta come out of a box. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's plastic free July. I don't think you should be hating on more sustainable packaging techniques. It's also a French American Heritage Month. And National Bison Month too. Kinda weird that those are together, you know? 
Right, 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 right. I actually don't know. I was doing that like I knew. What, the what, French that fur weird? trade. Yeah, French it's mostly trade. beavers and otters and stuff, but they did have a devastating effect on natural wildlife by the amount of furs they traded, mostly in the Aleutian Islands region. Yes, I hate yes. how you talk. Like, I hate it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's almost infuriated. devastated. It's so pretentious. Oh, like, the beaver population was almost completely eradicated by those dirty French fur trappers. You know, yes, like, yes, I don't yes, even yes, yes. know if what you're saying is true or not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Aleutian Islands, almost. And honestly, I hope it's not because then it's even better because you sound so fucking stupid. No, this is true. This is true. It's true, true, true. Not a lot of people read the history of this great continent and world. Me, I've almost completed this world's history and now I've started to venture elsewhere, both outside this earthly realm and inside. Yes, 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 yes. Does this work on people? Like, do people think you're smart? Ah, yes, my D'Angelo crew loves it. Well, yeah, but I <laughs> yes. just, yeah. Yes, 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 they do. Does the common man that you meet at a bar think that you're smart? I do not associate with the common man. You have to at no, some point. No, 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 unless they are rich, articulate, and aristocratic. <laughs> And super hot and chiseled. I will not be friends with a pudgy layman. It's a big boss move to know your history like that. Whatever. It's like my mind is like walking around with a pair of truck nuts. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree with that. It's like I have a diesel truck that just blows exhaust all over the highway. That's kind of how my mind and mouth work at a bar. Do you think that when people see truck nuts, they think, wow, that's a big manly strong man? I do. You think that the person with truck nuts, oh yeah, they got a big set of cojones themselves. Probably. Yeah, see, no. And when they see you doing all this, they probably think that. That guy's not actually smart. He just thinks he's smart and he's trying to sound smart. Really? I have a fireplace in my apartment, Riley. You don't even have an apartment. You have a house. Your place is fire, though. Thanks, man. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Pound Town by Sexy Red. I put Liquor Song by Glorilla. This is Put It On The Floor by Lotto. Ah, it's the oh, Lotto song. It's the Lotto song, Shit. yeah. Shit, man. What were the other ones? T-shirt by Migos. That's what I wrote. That's literally what I wrote and erased. I saw his board, he didn't do it. Fuck, no. that's so annoying. All right, whatever, what else? Designer by Lil Pump and I'm Demand by Chief Keith. Oh, okay, yeah. Lil Pump just retired from rap. Should we say our goodbyes? I, I mean, I don't know, I feel like he'll be back. He retired retires. today. Everybody retires. Oh. It's like the Pixies, they like say, oh, we're not a band anymore, and they come back with a new album and tour and all that. They're a genius band, marketing that sugar to kids. They did not make Pixie Sticks. Yes, that they is did. Not, no, that's yes, not them. Did. That's not what they did. <laughs> if you don't, what's happening? Smoking on eight kids. Wow. Lotto's fire. Women are really taking over the rap game, huh? Yeah. I mean, Glorilla's fire, Lotto's fire, Coyla Ray's fire, Ice Spice's fire, Cardi B, stayed at Queen B. Nicki Minaj, still as relevant as ever. Sexy Red, Doja Cat rapping now too. Doja Cat. Really rapping. Tia. Tia Kareen, fire. BK the Rula. Baby Sosa. Iggy. Azalea. No. Well, Vicky. No. Lil Tay. Alabama Barker. Alabama Barker raps? I'm assuming she will. You know that Kourtney Kardashian is mad at Kim for doing a Dolce and Gabbana collab too close to her wedding, which is all. Dolce. Big drama. That seems like cohesive though. No, no, no. Kim's stealing the spotlight once again. That big huge ass of hers. Always stealing the spotlight. She actually got an ass reduction. No, she did mm -hmm. not. Really? Yeah, she got an ass reduction. Too much ass? Yeah. Oh. Huh. She doesn't even have one anymore. What the It's fuck? blank there. Holy <laughs> shit. They ought to put that thing in the Smithsonian. It's blurred out. It's just like a cavern, but it's blur blurred out. What's like something average that you think Kim K really likes to do? Like, do you think she likes going for a drive? I think there's probably a million things. I know, but I like to ponder these things about the mega famous. On the mundane things they too get a kick out of. What Let's if, think together for a second. What if she's just like obsessed with climbing trees? <laughs> oh, she loves it. <laughs> like every time she's outside, she runs towards like, oh, here goes Kim again. <laughs> yeah, but this she's is climbing and she's like, look, guys, I'm on the sixth branch. That's not a normal thing, though. <laughs> people love climbing trees. Two of your friends, please name them. Mark and Ricky. You don't know people named Mark and Ricky, Riley? I do know people named Mark and Ricky. They're my best friends. Last names? We'll blurt it out. I'm just like some proof. Ricky is your best friend, a man named Ricky. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Mark and Richie. Mark. You lie and a piece of me dies. And I pray. That's liability by Drake. And I'm quoting it because you're lying and a piece of me died. Calling me daddy, I taught you things that a father can't teach. He's a weird guy, Drake, what he says, but I love him. I love his music. Me too. For all the dogs, Fat D coming out soon. Did you say Fat D? Yeah, that's the acronym. For all the dogs, Fat D. <laughs> fat D coming out Going soon. Going to the Fat D tour? Took a Fat D tour the other day on the highway. Big accident. Bunch of cars flipped over on fire. People, people running around on fire, screaming, shrieking, really. Oh God, oh God, I'm on fire, help, help, help. Ambulances did not get there in time. Oh, and they turn around. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> lost cause. See you guys later. We'll get. We'll pick up the next one. Let's do the next sample, bro. Sure. I must relax you. I mean, I mean, totally relax you. Is that Teddy fucking Pendergrass? This is uh, Barry White. Mayor Barry White, yeah. That's the other guy. The other guy with the insanely deep voice. Sounds like Satan. If it wasn't like <laughs> the most sultry R&B ever. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's what Satan sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like a voice that comes out of the sky. Like, like, yeah. like you hear it and like, you know, everyone's hearing it, you know? <laughs> Hello. Like, that's like making an announcement for the Hello, world baby. somehow. I'm trying to lay you down. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are you? God, Barry White was fucking sick, man. He make the ladies go crazy. I love that that term is like, oh, like you drive them crazy or like all the girls go crazy for this guy. It's like, you understand what go crazy means? Like this. Uh, no, I'm saying like- Lose your mind. Like lose your mind, go yeah. insane. Well, like, a lot of people do. Yeah, but like she had to be entered into a facility because he was so hot, drove her crazy. You ever heard of Beatlemania? Yeah. They went crazy. They went, they cheered and yelled and- A lot of them were institutionalized. A lot of Americans developed British accents for a while too. People don't like to talk about that. Right, yo. Big fan of the Beatles. It was like for a while. <laughs> My Sorry. dad was British for a few years there. He was a big Beatlehead? No, I hated the Beatles. Oh, he just got British. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. My mom broke up with my dad, started dating a British guy for a minute. So my dad was British for a minute. That's funny. Your mom would date a British guy. And then she got back with my dad. So the accent was annoying. And he's probably uncircumcised. My mom doesn't care about that. She doesn't judge. She says cut, uncut, mid cut, crew cut, Bob, mullet. Bob mullet? You knew him? Yeah, my mom dated him too. Oh, really? Yeah, Bob mullet. Oh. The motorcycle guy? Yeah. Yeah. He used to be my mechanic. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He opened up a moped shop though. A lot of people say he sold out. He sells like Vespas and shit. You know, you have to change with the times. Mm -hmm. I don't really see it as a sellout. I see it as like savvy business. Yeah. He's got a family to feed. Absolutely. He can't just be like a big time hog grease, grease guy for the rest of his life. Do you hear about his son, Tanner Mullet? Yeah. Like kind of a shame. Snapped his leg, championship game. Best high school football team that town I've ever seen, but yeah. he snapped it. He was a D1 recruit too. Wrote a ripstick to practice. Yeah. It's kind of what you get. Mm -hmm. That's what I call the vape now, by the way. I know it's a tasteless time to make a joke, but kids in my day used to ride ripsticks. Now they're all ripping these Nick sticks. <laughs> I like that. Wake the fuck up. The beaver population. Stop with that. I'm serious. Almost, Shut the fuck up. It's dangerously low. Shut up. <laughs> People don't understand the implications. If you were to take beavers out of the wild, what that would do on our natural freshwater pathways, the way they irrigate rivers and stuff. You know, we don't think about the repercussions. We really don't. We think about big beaver coats and sick ass necklaces with those buck teeth on them. I'm going to stop you right there. No one gives a damn. If you like beaver history and the history of fur trades in general in North America, leave a comment saying, I go bonanza for fur trade history history and I'll start a whole new channel. Dignan's Fur Trading Bonanza. And what are you gonna do? <laughs> I already said, dude, nobody gives a damn. You can be a special guest. No, fuck no. Come on, you'll like it. That shit. You'll like it, I'll give you a fur coat. Three, two, one. 21 questions by 50 Cent. That's what I put. It is 21 questions by 50 Cent. Would you, would you love me if I was a couch? <laughs> would you love me if I was a worm? Or had no hands, oh girl. Would you still have love for me, girl? If I had swollen feet, would you still love me? If I had a horse's nose, would you still fuck me? If I had goldfish in my brain, would you still hug me? You think if I went like hard as fuck on thirst traps on TikTok, I would blow the shit up? Probably, but you have a pretty like fertile foundation for that. Like you, there's a lot of people who are fans of you on the internet. Yeah, already. but I just was, if I like hit it, like pedal the metal, fucking thirst trappy as shit. Like I'm in like rolled up underwear to make them shorter. And I'm like, just day one, starting progress. Follow me on my journey. And like a hot dog slips out of my pants or something. And the crown's covered in oil and I get up and I'm all glistening and stuff. And I was like, whoops. All right, sorry. Boop. That's equally. not really a thirst trap. That sounds more like a the Three Stooges episode or something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like here. here's the next. Here's like, the next one. The next like, one like whatever. picks it up. It gets way sexier. I'm outside chopping wood, and I'm in a flannel. It's a little. Yeah, it's it's, it's unbuttoned yeah, all the way. Yeah, it's all sure. the way unbuttoned. I go to hit the wood, and it makes like a squeaky dog noise, and then someone hits me in the face with a cream pie, and I go. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't get a mean to get all this cream all over my gosh darn face and I put a little on me and then squirrels and other like fucking wildlife from the woods come and like eat it off me and I right as I unbutton my pants the video ends. I mean that's like fucking sexy. I mean that would be crazy. It's also very slapstick comedy though. It's like sound effect humor. You're getting hit with a cream pie in the face. What? Isn't that sexy though? A cream pie? I some uh, <laughs> 
Some people might think that's sexy in a certain way, but I think it's it's combining the squeak of the toy. No, that's funny. It's not hot though. I mean, like, okay, okay. Wait, it's a it's yeah, a trilogy. Yeah, great things come in threes. The next one is like a full on movie set, and it's like a late night show, almost like the last scene of the Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. But I don't have clown makeup on. I have all sorts of other makeup. It's a collagical mishmash experience from all over the world. You with me? Yeah, I'm there, I guess. I yeah. get on the talk show. Obviously, I sit down. There's a whoopee cushion. A big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comically large whoopee cushion. Okay. I sit down, and I have huge shoes on. And the host goes, what's up with the huge shoes, you big sexy hunk? And I say, these things? It's because I got huge feet. And I wink, but I have so much makeup on, it seals my eye shut. <laughs> And I say, come here and give me a hand. And the host has to <laughs> kind of peel my cinched eye back up. And then I throw up. And then, wait, I lift some weights. And then I uh, go back to the wood chopping. I don't know. What? I need a sexy coach. Could you be my sexy coach? I would just ditch all of these premises. These what? premises are all slapstick comedy premises. Slapstick. You're wearing clown shoes. You sit on a whoopee cushion. I mean, this isn't like thirst trap stuff. <laughs> I mean, if a girl sits on a whoopee cushion near me, even if there's not a cushion, it sounds like she sits on a whoopee cushion. I, Anyone for that matter. That's just kind of what you're into and that's fine. But like, I don't think that's going to work with a big audience. If anymore. wildlife eats food off of someone's wild body, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> that's hot to most people. No, not to most people. Imagine a deer licking you clean. I, that's not something that I'm into. <laughs> it could all be so simple. You Imagine really, you, all you have to do is like unbutton your shirt down to here okay. and just kind of like do a dance or yeah. maybe like smile at the camera and use like some audio that's really popular. And a big anvil falls on me the second no, I walk no. outside. What? No, I it's don't. It's like an infl it's not a real anvil. Well, no, I didn't expect you to actually get crushed by an anvil. I'm yeah. saying don't, you don't have to involve all this fucking wily, like, wily coyote shit. How about a piano falls, but I'm like standing perfectly in the middle, but my teeth are replaced with the keys. <laughs> and I'm like, uh oh! <laughs> this isn't fucking Looney Tunes. And you I don't say, have to do this. I say, follow me on my workout journey. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not. Just too much. Should I eat a rat? No. No. <laughs> you know what? Don't even get TikTok. Man, I want to be a thirst trap. Girl, it's easy to love me now. That's such a cool song, man. I love that song. That it, era, you can't replicate it. You just can't. 50 had them hitters. Like, that's like the weirdest combination of R&B and rap, but so simple at the same time. Yeah, he was phenomenal. One of my favorites of all time, honestly. Man, let's hear the next sample. Wake up! Wake up! Rush and put a little makeup! I just have to fade away the shake-up! Chop suey, right? Yeah. And this uh, is a sample and interpolation. It's basically a cover. <laughs> this song is one of those that uh, it has this ravenous energy that just like, it's unmatched. Like if, like when that comes on, everybody goes hard. Yeah, it's like demonic in a way. System of a Down also released an album called Steal This Album. That's fucking badass. In the era of like Bear Share. I did a lot of bad stuff on Bear Share. Did you? Oh yeah. She bears hair on my ball sack. What the fuck, man? You said that <laughs> once, I think. Either you or Graydon, one of you guys said the bear share on my ball sack and- I do have a giant beanbag chair in my house that looks like a ball sack. Okay. It's a joke. It's like funny? Yeah, it looks like a big hairy scrotum. It's hairy? <laughs> well, it has like, dr it's like, it's not actually hairy. Right, I don't, why are you telling me this? I'm just saying like maybe you're getting that confused with the bear share line. Maybe you're getting the comically large beanbag nutsack that I have at my house <laughs> confused with me saying she bear share on my ball sack. Why would I confuse those two I things? That has nothing to like. They both have ball sack? I don't know. So every single day you sit on your own balls. They're not mine. They're not like a replica of mine. No, I just mean like they're yours because you own the beanbag. They are my own balls, I guess, in that way, yeah. So you sit on your own balls every day. Yeah. That's gotta hurt. The beads are, they're starting to leak out the back. And you know, I'm losing beads. You know, when <laughs> you've had a bean bag for a while. Yeah, I guess. And it starts getting a little flat and you kind of get stuck in the middle of it. And sometimes the beans will fall on you. You got little beans everywhere. And it's kind of like, was this a good idea? Are they beans or beads? Cause you started saying beads and then I think you started saying beans. It was a bean bag. And so I adjusted halfway through. <laughs> It's like full of little beans and they, they keep falling out and it makes a mess and you think to yourself, should I have just gotten a chair? Am I clinging on to some false sense of adolescence that I just can't quite let go of because truly deep down I'm afraid to grow up? I Did I need the big ball sack bean bag? I wouldn't read into 
into that too much. Should I have just rented a Lazy Boy and rent a center? Paid triple its worth over 15 years. Yeah, why would you rent a Lazy Boy? No one can afford a Lazy Boy. They're not that expensive. More expensive than cars. They're not more expensive. <laughs> lazy Boys are more expensive than cars? Let me look it up real quick. You can't look it up on a whiteboard. That's an $88,000. 38! And that's at 50% off. That's not what Lazy Boys cost. I just looked it up. You didn't look it up. That's a mind. whiteboard and you wrote it. <laughs> you're insane, bro. You're ins you, you're I'm hard, insane? You're hard to talk to sometimes. I pull up proof right in front of you and you tell me it's something else. Beavers. <laughs> oh, man. You, you think I'm hard to talk to. <laughs> what even was that? Like that's- The just... suck or the beanbag stuff. <laughs> Which one? I give up. I just full on give up, man. Okay. You're married to Mia Ham. You got beans all over your apartment. You know a lot about beavers. Yeah. And you want to do TikToks that are slapstick comedy thirst traps. Seems like you got a good grasp on it. But that's just not anyone's personality. I just described a fake person and what? you're just like, that's me. That is me. It's not. And I'm a lone wolf. You're not. Looks into the we're bar both lone you. wolves. Okay. At least we have something in common. I guess that's cool for us. I might have to start a lone wolf YouTube channel, I think. Oh, lone wolf. You let people borrow wild wolves <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lone wolf center like the lone <laughs> dude i just got approved for three wolves <laughs> Awesome, I'm gonna finally start that wolf sanctuary. I need to get my credit fixed because I <laughs> cannot rent a wolf right now. They offered me a Doberman. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I tried to steal two wolves from Great Wolf Lodge and yeah. then I found out they don't even have wolves there. No, they don't, it's a water park. It's just a water park, yeah. Pissed swim trunks and little kids. Three, two, one. CS, Lil Uzi Vert. CS, Lil Uzi Vert. It is CS by Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> Song's getting a lot of hate on the internet. Rock fans don't like it, mm. you know, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's pretty good. They're the type of artists that always set themselves up for that type of criticism. Yeah, it's like a pretty straightforward cover. Yeah. With like a little bit of Uzi's flair on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like it's fine. It's not like revolutionary. No, but. It's like putting Chop Suey on your album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's really all that like yeah. happened. And I'm sure that Uzi's label paid for that and yeah. blah, 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 blah. It has the energy, I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of cute. Uzi always wears their influences right on their sleeves too. This album does that. At times feels like Uzi doing karaoke and then rapping in between. Just hearing that part before it opens up yeah. does make it sound kind of shitty. Yeah. But once it opens up, it's so fun. I rock with it, man. And I just want to rock. You know, I was going to make fun of you for, for doing that. Yeah. But I've been trying to do it and it is difficult. I do not know that. Don't. Ew. Oh, shit. There you go. Go stupid, Riley. Get crazy. Go absolutely. It's go. a really hard dance to do. I know, fucking, man. Oh, you want to like everywhere I go, people are like, oh, like, well, look at that guy. Like, fucking Jesus. I know. Like, oh, he can't do it. He can't do the fucking dance. And then they do it perfectly, they do it flawlessly. Kevin Hart can do it. <laughs> and I can't fucking do it. I get, okay, whatever. It's too hard. It's too complicated of a dance. How do they expect me to learn so fast? I don't know, man. The song has like only been out for like a, couple, a year. It's like maybe a whole year. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I don't know. I, I can't learn the dance that fast. I literally just learned how to crank that soldier boy. I know, man. You're really good at it. Thank you. Superman that hoe. Last one. It's a one point game. Let's see if you can tie it up and take this into overtime. Ooh, 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 ooh. I've heard this. Do you know the sample? Mm -mm. It's Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Oh. I used to rule the squirrels. I'd put honey on my chest at night. <laughs> Climb up in the trees and let them lick my body clean. <laughs> what? I'm done. <laughs> I used to rule the squirrels. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it actually. But... I used to rule the squirrels. I love to kiss them. They're soft fur. You know what people have been saying recently about our videos? What? They've been saying, imagine this is the first hive mind video you watch. And then they've been saying <laughs> that it could be true for every video now. Because like, think <clears throat> about this one specifically. You think what? Being the first video that anybody ever saw. You don't think it's a good first video for them to see? <laughs> Depends what they like. You think we did a bad job? No, I think we did a great job. I think the, the audience that likes us is gonna love this one. You don't think it's a good gateway into the community? That's actually the quite- Community? <laughs> that's actually quite supportive. I think it's good, man. I think, you know what would be a good idea for the channel actually? I think we should buy a compound and have every single subscriber of ours live on it. 
Thank you, man. I've been wanting to do that for a really long time. And we kind of like have like a specific time of day that everybody eats and like we make the food in the cafeteria yeah. and they're not allowed to leave. Can I pitch you another idea on top of that? Sure. I am God. And I want everyone to listen to every word I say as if it were the word of God. I like that. And I'm going to be mostly naked and I'm going to have you and or Grant hit a gong. And most people can't talk unless I tell them they can. And at some point, we're probably all going to kill ourselves and hitch a little ride on a cosmic star. <laughs> I was going to actually pitch a special drink, like yeah. a cocktail of some kind. Yep. Kind of like a... Maybe a mojito with OxyClean. In yeah, it. yeah, OxyClean, yeah. <laughs> kind of make your guts all go crazy. Yeah, I was going to say a bleach margarita. So yeah. yeah, same same vibe. And I want it to be painful. Uh, I don't want it to be an easy way to go. No. And I'll... Uh, there'll be some sort of manipulation in there that the suffering is good and everybody's kind of like getting off and dying at the same time. It's I like, like that. fucked up. I like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I just think it could be a cool idea to kind of like, you know, Grow bring community. everybody closer, yeah. you know, like they'll all form a, a bond forever. And yeah, I like that. Okay. Now we're on to something. You had a, ba a bunch of bad ideas today, but that was finally a good one. You like me being the almost naked God? Yeah. yeah really? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh. That is refreshing. We're finally on the same page. Honestly, yeah. we usually fight, I feel like, and now we did a bunch of, we did improv, yes and sort of thing. Can the god be a bit of a thirst trap god? And I can get off on the TikTok thing at the same time? <laughs> I would prefer to keep that out of it, but. What if the honey is so sticky the squirrels stick to me and our subscribers, followers, think I'm some sort of nature wizard? Still, no. No? No, yeah. Mm -mm. No on the thirsty god stuff? No thirst trap stuff. All right. I'll grow my hair out and just kind of speak in riddles. Three, two, one. Weed them boys. All my life. This is Cut the Check by Mac Miller. Mm. Ah. It's a sample of Viva La Vida, huh? That's awesome. Wow. That's just a crazy sample to be able to clear. Yeah, it is. You know? Chris Martin's sick, though. I heard Viva La Vida in the club last night. Really? Yeah, it was weird. They, like, mashed it into that Jay-Z song, and it's like... <laughs> that one. Yeah. And it had that beat under it, and then it was like... I used to rule the world. Jay-Z's worked with Coldplay quite a bit, though. I know. So maybe that was, like, a subtle... Cut the check. I'm a working motherfucker. Need a death shit. I don't got a heart. I don't even need a chest. I'm a mess. Fire. Great song. It is kind of a buried sample. You wouldn't like think of that as because it's yeah. not the like premier melody of Viva La Vida. Right. That's awesome. That was a good, good play. Good job on the game, man. That was pretty close. I'm sure that was fairly entertaining for people at home. Six to five. Final. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along. We'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, CMA. CMA. Check the link in the description. Thanks to CMA for sponsoring the video. Go check out their content. Thanks again. And CMA. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more all that stuff I said at the beginning, and diggy. It's like these wonderful people with my guys live a little Don't forget for a second what a privilege it is to wake up every day. All right, this has been I My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. So Mary Prankster got cataract, cat, 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 cat. You ought to know by now. You ought to know by now. It's one of the more charming things about you. She's moving out. You can't help yourself from referencing Billy Joel. And I like that about you. So a lot of people say it's annoying. A lot of people say it's the reason they're not friends with you anymore. Really? But me, I get a little kick out of it every time. Render and Eddie were both going steady <laughs> in the summer of 75. Yeah. Bam, bam. A lot of people say it's trite. Middle-aged white guy referencing Billy Joel every chance he gets. I say, fuck. Fuck him. Let him do what he wants. <laughs> what are you looking at? I was trying to see your marker. Was Sing! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you want to have sex with me in a Home Depot parking lot? You shook your head now. I don't. All right. Yeah, I don't. All right.